Hello and welcome back where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales and um, got a big canvas today. We're going to do um, a, a Bill X Alexander, Bob Ross, Jason Bowen style painting. Um, hopefully it'll be a little bit wet and wet but we never know. But um, if it's the first time you've joined me on uh, the video uh, lessons then please subscribe using the link below. Um, or go to the main channel, hashtag Cly5Art, and um, just click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell, the little notification bell, because I upload every Monday at 7.30 London time. That's Greenwich Mean Time. So I don't want you to miss out there. So every week, you'll get a lesson without fail. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the palette and the products that I'm going to be using today. Okay, so um, let's just go through the colours very, very quickly. Um, I've got a Prussian Blue. A burnt umber, a medium yellow, a black, and some white. That's a Mars black. It's a blue black. Um, it's a limited palette. Um, I'll explain why I'm using a limited palette in just one second. In this container there, I've got some of my blending white, which you will see on the website, www.cly5art.co.uk. I've been asked to use some of my mediums today, obviously, um, so I just want to show you what i'm using so that's the blending white that's available in the um, website and i will be talking about how to use that in just one minute in this little container there um i've got some of my retarder basically it says what it says on the on the two on the on the on the on the on the, on the, on the bottle is what it does it retards your paint so adding a little bit of this to your paint We'll actually slow it down from drying too quick for you <laughs> i'm all tongues i'm all tongues today and this one by there is a little bit of flow improver again what it says on the bottle it helps improve the flow of paint so if your paint is a is dragging a little bit just add a touch of that instead of water to your paint and it's gonna you're gonna find that your paint will flow a lot nicer this is my acrylic liquid clear um, and you will find that this is quite universal um, I'll explain a little bit more about that as we go along because it'll take too long otherwise. Um, so that is available. All those products are available on the website www.cly5art.co.uk. I'm also going to be using um, my range of foliage brushes today as well. Again, as you've guessed, they are available on the website. So without further ado and any more waffle, let's have a look at what I've been planning. Um, there you go. This is a quick uh, little 10 by 8 sketch that I've done on um, a canvas panel board. So it's gone from the uh, pencil sketch stage just to a, a quick little demo painting that I've done. And I do that with most lessons that I work on just to give me sa myself some sort of an idea where I'm going. I'm going to place that down by the side of my canvas. And believe it or not, when um, Bob Ross was doing his paintings... Just off camera, he used to have a finished painting of the scene he was painting as the lesson. So um, don't be afraid to use reference materials and guides because not everybody can paint from their imagination. You've got to have something to work to. But I've got a, I've got a video that's, be go, that's going out quite shortly um, and giving you all these tips and that'll be in the iCard. Anyway, stop waffling, Clive. Let's get, let's get, some, let's get some blend in white onto my brush there we are I got some blah lovely blending white there this is that lovely blending white get some of that into the sky as we go now depending where you live in the world it's going to depend how quickly this dries and I always give it a little tiny help because it, you can use this as um, a wet in wet technique if you if you really want to but it helps if you've got trouble with blending and these brushes do shed a little bit because they're natural bristle brushes and just just the nature of them until they settle down so don't be afraid if there's a few little hairs flying around there and um, let's just get a little bit more of this blending white there we are. I don't want a lot see you don't want a lot of that blending white on your brush And just push that down like this there we are just get a touch of that flow improver just on the tip of my brush 
because you can mix these products together just to get it to flow a little bit better. I don't like my brushes when they're new because they do tend to shed. Okay, now I'm just going to put the blending white aside just a touch. Um, I tell you what I haven't done. I haven't put my medium mix out. So this is another product on the website www.clive5art.co.uk where we need to put some of that blending white, not when blending white, medium mix into the pot like that. Get a little bit of water. Have I got water here? Dear me, dear me. Not organised today. Just add a little bit of water to that. Not a lot. That is all. That's all the water we're going to be using in our painting. So none of this uh, dipping in and out of this a lot into a big bowl of water. That's all the brush, all the uh, paint we're going to water we're going to put on our brush. I don't know what's matter with me today. I really don't. I'm, I'm trying to rush because I don't want this to dry on me. <laughs> so a bit of Prussian blue. And let's get this Prussian blue into the sky. We want it a little bit darker up the top edge. If you see any of these hairs, take them out before they go onto your canvas. There's another one there. There we go. And just bring that down like this. There's a cut. This is, this is molting really badly today. There we are. I should have prepared my brushes before I started filming, but you know me. I don't stand on ceremony and I I believe in it's real life and I'm not afraid of showing things going wrong I'm not and just a little bit of flow improver there we go just a little bit of flow improver just to get this to flow I'm gonna pick up a little bit more blending white so I just want to blend this sky together what a wonderful looking sky that is leave a couple of them white patches showing through there we are. Dear me, don't worry about it. I don't worry about things like that. It gives you something to to do in between each brushstroke. <laughs> Dear me. There we are, never mind. Very lightly across the sky like that. And this is a foliage brush anyway, actually. It's not so much, it's not designed really for the skies. I've got some lovely one and a half and two inch brushes for that. Um, but am I happy with that? Very lightly, very lightly blending on that sky like that. There's another little hair there. This is just real life, ladies and gentlemen. This is just how it is. And I'm not, I'm not afraid to, to show things like that. What a wonderful sky. Let's put a bit of blue down here. I'm gonna get a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of my blending white, a touch of medium mix. I'm just going to put some blue down here like this. Let's get a little bit of Prussian blue. Now oh, it's another hair. <laughs> it's a hairy day today. Right. Let's get a little bit of yellow on the brush. Clive, what are you doing? It's going to go green. I know it's going to go green. That's the idea. A little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of yellow. Bit more yellow. Let's get some yellow. Let's get, let's get some green colour there like that. Spreading that across the water because that's what it is. We put in some water in. You could do this in oils. Um, there's no reason why you can't do this in oils. As I said in the beginning, it's um, it's very similar to a, a Bob Ross or a Bill Grander or a Jason Bowen painting because my friend Jason Bowen is doing a lot of this type of stuff now. And um, I think it's it's wonderful to see Jason doing what he does best, which is this type of painting. He's a wonderful artist, and um, in his own right. So just getting a bit of colour in there. Spent a lot of time with my friend Jason Bowen over the years. There we are. We can add a little bit more light into that water area later on but for now i'm just just getting a bit of color down there like that there we are what does that look like it looks like a mess <laughs> i'm gonna put my brush in some water because i'm not afraid to let that one soak um now i've got to decide as an acrylic artist <clears throat> i've got to decide um because it's not like oils i can paint wet in wet 
But as an acrylic artist, I've got this very I got this urge to dry this, and I just use my blending white, which is again this one. Um, you can use it and and carry on painting wet in wet if you want to. You've just got to be mindful of that it can dry out depending where you live. Um, but as an acrylic artist, I've got this urge to dry it, which you can do as all sorts. So I'm going to dry it. I think. <laughs> Air on the side of caution. Okay, not perfectly dry down there, but I'm not worried about that. Um, as I was doing that, I got some of my gold talon brushes out as well. Um, they're also available on the website. And as I said, I have been asked to um, sh showcase some of my products. So I, this is what I was doing today. You can use any brushes you want or any paints you want, really. You know, it's entirely up to you. I'm not forcing you to come along to buy my products just to do a painting. You can... Do this painting with anything you want. I'm going to pinch this brush. I like this brush. This is a one inch talon brush. I'm going to get some burnt umber and um, a little bit of black. There we go. Some burnt umber and a little bit of black on my brush. Get a little bit of that flow improver. There we go. Just a touch. Just a touch of flow improver. And um, I'm going to look for a mountain shape. Like this now you can do this with a palette knife if you wanted to but I've chose not to I just want to I'm an acrylic artist not an oil artist and I just want to show that you can still paint the same type of scenes as those artists I mentioned earlier have done so you know you've just got to adjust things a little bit adapt things just for your own needs and just to get used to just to get used to um, your brushes and stuff. It's, it's a great way to, to actually work and picking up a bit of medium mix. It's a great way to, to, to work with acrylics. And, you know, I'm not expecting miracles from this painting because something like this could take an age to do. It could take hours, actually. And I haven't got hours, as you know, to, to do a painting um, as much as I would like to. Um, but... I just showcase my paintings and my lessons really for the beginner um, and as you increase um, your, your, your skill levels then you know there's there's other fantastic YouTube artists out there that you may want to check out as well there you go and subscribe because we all work hard we all really work hard you know, with studios to produce these lessons, and you know, uh, it's it's not as easy as you may think to keep talking and and painting and and working like this. At the end of the day, as long as we have fun, it doesn't really matter. And I do have fun. I've been having fun for thirty-five plus years, and that's how long I've been painting. And I've just received my 100,000 subscriber, so that's on YouTube. So that's made me so excited and happy that all those one, all you wonderful subscribers out there have, have, have taken the time to subscribe and, and watch my work. And if I can pass on a little bit of a little bit of skill or some tips that you may not have even thought about then I've done my job I really have so it's um it's a very wet day here in Wales today there um it's, it's raining a bit out there not heavy it's like that fine mist stuff and talking about fine mist I think we'll put a bit of mist down on it on the bottom of this mountain shortly and just increasing this brown. This is a burnt ember down there like that. There we go. And as we got a little bit of moisture back into our brush. Now the liquid clear, that's this one, you can put onto a canvas on its own neat. Take a little bit off with a brush. 
and you can paint directly on top of that and it'll, it's going to stay wet for quite a while or you can you can even you can even add it into the paint if you wanted to but it, a little bit goes a long long way a little bit goes such a long way so be very careful be very careful when when using my my liquid clear because it can go a long way there we are i just want to close this down a bit there like that just a just whoops i need to put that in the um in the blending white then which i didn't want to do i don't know what i was thinking i know what it was normally i got my i've got my um medium mix in that bowl and I've changed my bowls today, so we've got to be careful of those things. We really have. So I've just closed that down a bit there. I want to put a little bit of a darker spot. A bit more of that. I'm going to put a little bit of retarder into this. I want to put a, a darker bit there. Just closing that down. Oh my dear, I tell you what, it looks ugly sometimes, doesn't it? It really does. Have I got a bit of glare? I think I've got a bit of glare on that side. I don't know where that's coming from. We'll have to see if we can adjust that glare. Maybe. I should just dry it off with a hairdryer. Because the paint is wet and it's reflecting um, with the lights there. So, again, I'm going to just do this now. I'm going to dry that off with the hairdryer. And then we're going to put a little bit of snow on this mountain. We really are. Right, I think it's time to dry that off. Right, I've adjusted the lights a little bit because um, I can just reach up and do that. And I've adjusted the handle of the canvas. I just pulled it towards me a little bit, so hoping that stopped the glare. Now we want to put a bit of snow on the um, on the old mountain here. So I've got a I've got a palette. I'm going to use this palette to put my paints on. Um, and I've got some paint made up, um, a snow white, um, which I'm going to be tubing and making and selling on the website www.cloud5art.co.uk. And that's a, a, an, an extra thick um, paint specifically for snow and mountains and things like that. I'm also going to be working on a on a, on, on a mountain colour as well. Um, I'm quite decided what I'm doing with that. But I'm just going to get the smallest amount of blue, um, Prussian blue. I'm just going to mix that in. Because I don't want this a brilliant white. Just going to mix that in as you would do with an oils if you're not used to using palette knives then you can maybe just put this on with a brush or something like that we'll have a try that later on there we go and what that does it it allows you to pick up a small roll of paint so we want to we want to come down like that. Maybe get a little bit of snow on. Leave a little bit of this brown showing through because this could be where the snow has just been melting and showing through a touch. Just very lightly some of this snow on the mountain oh yeah, just drag it down a touch there we are Like maybe like as if it's just 
drift in here. It's going to be a bit thicker down this way. There we are. Let's get a bit more blue, a little bit of brown, a little bit of burnt amber. I'm just going to put a bit of burnt amber into a little bit of this white. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. We'll touch a Prussian blue. A marbly effect. Again, getting a bit of this. Just put a little bit of shadow in. There's not going to be a lot of um, shadow on this mountain. Not like a, a major um, type of snow scene, really. We've got a nice big run coming down there, like that. Let's just make that a little bit bluer. I'm just mixing up a shadow colour with my mountain white. This will be available on the website shortly. Hopefully it'll be available in the shop um, before I put this video out. But I've got to I gotta finalise my formula for mixing this paint first. But uh, hopefully it will be. It will it will be definitely within a week or so uh, of this video going out, I would imagine. I'm just going to put a bit of shadow colour there, like that. A little bit of shadow in there. That's a little bit of colour, a little bit of contrast. Doesn't matter how thick you put this on, you put it on as thick as you want it, basically. Because you've got a nice bit of rough texture then, and um, it works really well, it does. It works really well. I don't want a lot of snow, it's, n it's not. There's a lot of melting snow going on here. I don't want I want some of that brown to show through. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. Let's get a bit of this shadow colour now. I want to come down just on this side here. Down into that corner there. A bit more shadow. There. Picking up a little bit of white. I know I'm just gonna pull a little bit of white down. Just get a little bit of shadow in there. I'm going to put my palette down. <coughs> I'm just going to wipe off my palette brush, uh, my palette knife, palette brush, <laughs> my palette knife. I'm picking up a, a medium foliage brush. Um, I'm just going to tap into a little bit of my blending white and I'm just going to smooth down an area a little bit of medium I bet I didn't bring my blending brush in with me 
Whereas, uh, did I bring a blending brush? I didn't. I threw one away the other day, actually. So I, I'm going to use this little mop brush. You know, I got blending brushes on the website, um, but um, I damaged one the other day, and um, it just got old, basically. So I'm going to use this mop brush. I haven't used this one for a while. Basically, just blending down, merging, smoothing off, making it look a little bit wispy and misty, like as if there's a little bit of mist there, a little bit of out of focus, <laughs> a little bit out of focus. I'll do, I'll do, I'm happy with that so far. There's a couple of mountains in there. Um, I'm going to dry that off. I'm going to have to dry it off really well, especially this section. I'm not too worried about the top section, but especially this section here, because I want to put some trees and things in, as, as you do in this type of painting. Fingers crossed that is dry enough, but we never know. But we, we do have fun in the studio, that's for sure. Okay, so... I'm going to be picking up, um, there we are, I, I just washed this as I was drying that, believe it or not. Um, I, I had a hair dryer in one hand and I was washing my brushes out with the other one. I'm getting quite good at, um, at doing things like that, multitasking. I put the, um, my paints back on my palette there, there's my mountain colours. I don't know if I'll be using them again now, but I'm just going to get some blue and some yellow into this paint. A little bit of white. There you are. So a bit of brown, a bit of Prussian blue. A bit of brown, a bit of Prussian blue. A little bit of yellow. A touch of black. A little bit of white to do get that. See that very light colour? It's, it's a green, but it's more of a grey green. That's what I'm looking for. A nice grey green. Is that going to be too light, I ask myself. So I'm going to bring my brush to a nice sharp edge, like that. And I'm going to pick a point. And that's a bit light. Is that a bit light? It is a bit light. Let's get a bit more blue into it. Balance these colours. Just play around until you're happy with the colour you want. It doesn't have to be the colour i got. That's okay, I'm happy with that so far. And I'm just going to... Just pull down, like this. And what you're doing is just making like a, like a bunch of trees. A silhouette -y type of effect. There we are. It's all about layers. It's all about layers. It's so exaggerated these these type of paintings there. You know, you I, I don't know if you actually see mountains and tree shapes like this in real life. I don't know. But. Um, it's good to play around with. It's good to play around with it. These paintings remind me so much of the 80s because I used to watch um, the reruns of PBS on PBS with Bob Ross and, and, and that. And um, he learned all his skills from Bill Alexander, believe it or not. Uh, he was his teacher. But Bob Ross was... Um, Definitely an artist, a brilliant artist in his own right. And he basically, uh, all that happened was that um, he's, he's found a method of painting which worked for him. And he brought that in to the public eye. And, um, and, and the story has been told ever since. And I think it's a wonderful thing that if you can find your way in art and do something you love in the way you like doing it, and everybody is emulating what you were doing. I think that's a fantastic um, thing to do. 
How wonderful is it? How wonderful is that? I think it's great. All these people would l want to paint like you do and learn your skills and and you can. Anybody can do it. Anybody can learn to paint. Anybody can pick up a paintbrush and, and throw some paint on a canvas. You don't need all this time in college and stuff like that. If you want to do professional painting, then, you know, or you want, or you want to make a living out of art, then all those things are obviously going to help you. But 99% of the time, a lot of people just paint for joy, enjoyment and stress relief and, and all this type of thing. And um, I think that's, I think that's key, it really is. So I just added a little bit more white, a little bit more yellow to that colour. Just get a little bit of a, a greeny tinge to it. Again, I'm just going to try that, taking a little bit off my brush. And I'm just going to maybe put a few highlights. Whatever. All I'm doing is letting the paint pull itself off the brush. I'm guiding my hand a little bit because I want a little bit of control over what I'm doing on but on the other hand I'm just letting the paint pull off because that's tacky I'm just letting the paint pull off now where I think it needs it and just it just adds that little bit of a a realistic type of highlight to that color and it settles it down a little bit gives it a little bit of light I'm going to be doing a little bit more over here as well if there's too much paint on your brush don't be afraid to to lift some off so you've got like a semi dry brush and then just tap just tap very lightly like this just to make it look as if there's a lot more there than meets the eye because there's a lot of trees in there and this is just gonna make it look as if there's a lot more there than you painted and when you stand back and these type of paintings work so much better from a distance when you stand back it looks as if you've been sitting there painting trees for hours and hours and hours and hours and you know like me that we haven't and all it is is a t couple of tippy tappies like this and then we're away and it just looks like you've spent hours and hours and hours on something and you really haven't there you go how wonderful is that how wonderful is that let's get some burnt umber and some white and wash my brush some burnt number of white. Some people would say, oh, you're going to make mud, Clive. Well, I'm going to make mud anyway, because we're on a, we're on a nice brown colour now. And I want to bring down maybe something like this. There we are. Same brush. It's a little one-inch brush. It's a gold talon brush, which I sell on the internet. Uh, on the website. On the internet. I mean, on the website. It's my gold talon brush. My gold talon kit. And um, I believe there's ten in a pack, as you can see. There's ten of these lovely brushes in the pack, so you've got a good range of brushes. You can paint any any painting with those brushes, um, and that's why I've I like them because it just gives us flexibility and limits the amount of brushes that we actually need when we're learning to paint. So I got a bit of a bit of brown coming in there. There we are. We'll put a bit more colour on that in a second. We don't want it too dark yet because the closer you come towards us, the darker things tend to be a little bit. So just put a, a few flicks of brown like that. Just pick up a little bit of that colour there again. There we are. That's a bit of that dark colour. Put a little bit here, a little bit there. Like that. A little bit of shadow. Just coming off the bottom of them trees just to blend that in like this. Don't be too precise. Just let the brush do the work and try not to think about what you're doing. <laughs> when you think too much, things don't work so, uh, so well for you. 
they tend to work against you. So when when you you try and oh God, that doesn't look right, when when you try and really hard, things tend not to work for you. Where there's a mass of colour sometimes, and a very light brush stroke can do more for you than intense struggle. That's what I call it, intense struggle. So there's enough colour there for me at the moment just to give that like a a, a, a bit of a bank there. Um, and I might even, why not, I might even just grab a bit of this shadow colour that we put on the mountain. And let's just put a little bit of light, maybe, maybe a bit of snow there. Maybe we've just had a, a flurry, a flurry of snow, but it's it's not bright white. It's it's in the process of melting. That's what it is. It's in the process of melting, but it's just got a little bit of a flurry and just giving a little bit of a white look to that bank there. And I'm going to get some um, my burnt umber. I'm going to mix some yellow with my burnt umber. Mix my yellow, my burnt umber, not wash my brush. Look at this, I'm going into like a raw sienna type of colour. Limited palette. I haven't added any more colours to my palette. Just what I've got there, which is the Prussian blue, the burnt umber, the medium um, yellow. I've got a bit of blue black, which is a Mars black and some white. That's all I've got and my blending whites, obviously. So let's put a bit of a khaki colour green effect there like that taking that across and up bringing that across there like this I've gone a little bit too low there I'm running out of paper I'm gonna to have to get some more paper in a second I'm just gonna pull that off with a bit of tissue paper like that pulling that down there like this Just that little bit of a little bit of difference. Let's pull. Let's get a little bit of white into that. Again, this can be a block out stage, or you can paint it in one. It's entirely up to you. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do, but you could just you could paint this in one if you wanted to, and why not? It's your painting at the end of the day. You decide how you want to change this painting what you want to put in, what trees you want to put into it, and all these wonderful, wonderful things that you can actually add to this. There you go. There's a little river. All this snow is melting, and it's coming down through there, and it's running into this rivery type of thing that we that we got going on. Just put a little bit of that lighter colour there because we're going to put some trees and things in there in a second. So we're just building up the colour of the bank at the moment. Um, I want to put a bit of a bit of a flick there like this. There you go. I'm just thinking when I, when I think I tend to I tend to stop talking. It's not a bad thing, I don't suppose. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to dry that off and I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea because I need to rest my eyes. It's important that when you do a painting, that try not to do it in one go. You need to take your time, relax, take some time off. So I would recommend you paint about 20, 25 minutes, have a little break, go and have a, a glass of water or a cup of tea or a coffee or whatever your tipple is. And then come back when it's dried a little, because as it dries, it changes its tones. And you've got fresh eyes as well, then you can go, ah, I know how to correct that now. Oh, I want to put a highlight here, and I'll put a shadow in there. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to dry this off very quickly, and I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, as he says. <laughs> so I've just returned, and I had my cup of tea, and I had a bacon sandwich as well, which was really nice. <laughs> So it is. It is dry. It is dry. It is dry. So don't worry about, you know, trying to paint it all in one go and wet and wet and all that. Just, um, just take your time and enjoy the painting process. Now we're gonna have to work on this section here. We've we've put a little bit of colour, a bit of brown, a bit of white, and maybe a little bit of snow. We'll put a little bit more snow in there in just a second, and um, maybe I'll put a 
a building or a cabin or something in the woods. A cabin in the woods. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to pick up. Um, I'm going to pick up my my medium um, brush. There we are. This is a medium br a foliage brush. Um, I just don't know. I think I'll just pick up some burnt umber and a little bit of black and a little bit of yellow like that just mix that colour up doesn't matter as long as it's a little bit greeny there we are I'm just going to put some texture in like that and just you can you can push up like this or you can use it on, a, on an angle like that and just basically get some colour in there like this when we're trying to build up some colour into this water there you go just basically blocking it out there we are just just enjoy the process and slap some paint on there and, and as you do that just think of nice happy thoughts <laughs> happy 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 thoughts I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit I think so I just adjusted my camera just a touch just Because I wasn't in, I wasn't in shot. So we need a little bit more brown, a little bit more burnt umber, some yellow. Just changing the flavour up a bit. Just brighten it up just a little bit, and I just get a few. Maybe trees like that, and bits and pieces just back there. Let's get a little bit of that down there, like that. Maybe it's a bit of foliage or something, I don't know. Just make this up as you go along, basically. That's what we all tend to do, especially my friend Jason Bowen. I mean, that's what we do, Jason, don't we? We just make it up as we go along. Jason does a lot of planning with his um, paintings. Um, he digitally does them on um, a Photoshop. And um, I, where I tend to do that type of thing, and I get some colour on a canvas and just give myself a rough idea to what I work to, Jason does it all on his computer. And I think that is amazing. Because I'm not that good with computers, being uh, quite... Um, old <laughs> nearly 60 so well not nearly 60 I'm 56 but I feel as if I'm nearly 60 sometimes I feel a lot older <laughs> I'll just get a little bit of color down there And as I said, these brushes are available on the website if you want to try and pop along and pick them up. Reasonably priced. Really good foliage brushes. Um, I quite enjoy using these for this technique. Because they work really well. And, and, they, and they give me the, the, uh, the, the effect that I'm looking for from my trees and things. A little bit of moisture, a little bit of my medium mix. There we are, just splashing it on like that. A little bit of black, a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of yellow. A bit darker, there we go. Now my brushes are not shedding so much now. As you remember when I was doing the sky, I, I was having a, a trouble with a lot of the hairs coming out of them because now they're starting to work, they're going to shed less. 
which is good. And the idea, um, or the, I should, well, not an idea, but what I should say with, with these is not to let them soak in water too long because um, you're going to have difficulty um, then with these because they'll, because they're natural bristle brushes. You're going to find that um, it will cause them damage, and it's not what you want. You don't want damage. There you are. Let's just put a bit of. Let's get a little bit of. Let's get a little bit of white to that. There we are. A little bit of bit of yellow. You see the way I'm tapping my brush into my paint like that. Because what I'm going to do is put some more. I'm going to put another little line of trees there like that. Or bushes or twiglets. And, and that's what, that's what, that's what, that's the key. That's the key. Let's get a little bit of yellow. A bit more yellow. Brighten that colour up a bit. And let's just put a few. Like the spots here and there and there and here. Like that, just to give a, a little bit of a highlighty type effect. Very similar to what we've done up there, but down here it's just a little bit lighter. Just a where the light is catching. I'm going to add a bit of white, a bit more yellow. I'm going to just brush this in. Like that, very loosely, leaving a bit of dark showing through. Get a bit more yellow. Just gonna get plain yellow straight under my brush now. You can see the colour coming off the brush, which is turning it to a very pale green. It's quite a messy painter, in fact. But I'm not afraid of my. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid. Don't ever be afraid of of these things. We did say we were gonna put a cabin of sorts in there, didn't we? There we are. Let's put some light flashes just there, like this. And maybe a few just light flashes just in there. We can build that up in a second with different things. I'm just, just changing the, the colour. And let's get a bit of Highlight on these twiglet things. A twiglet is my new word, I think, for 2019. <laughs> we got twiglety things, there we are. Just a little bit of highlight, just to show that. Maybe, maybe. Let's get some, let's get some burnt umber and some yellow. A lot of yellow. Because I don't want to add, I don't want to add another colour to my palette. And I'm just going to wipe my brush clean because it's, it's got a bit clogged and I, I, I don't pull it tight. I'm, I'm only very, very lightly just pulling those bristles together. Let's put in a few little bits of bits and pieces in there, there they are, like that. So I'm just gonna let that brush just sit in the water for a minute. <clears throat> what I am gonna do is I'm going to pick up, um, where, where are we, there we are, there we, I'll use one of these, I'll use this one I think. This is out of the same packet, this is out of my, my gold talon brushes, there we are. And this is the, this is the number 12. So I'm just gonna put that into a bit of my retarder just to soak that up these bristles are not going to pull in moisture because they're nylon basically talon brushes they're nylon so I want to get a bit of I want to get a bit of blue and a bit of white let's use a bit of this white a 
bit more blue, a bit more Prussian blue. It's really fun. Um, it's it's real fun trying to. use a limited palette because you want to instinctively um, <laughs> go and pick up an orange or a or a yellow or an, a, a, a yellow ochre or something like that or a raw sienna or, and you can't so I find it I find it very um, relaxing really in fact a very you start to create colours more by doing it like this. And because we've already got a little bit of depth coming into that water there now. And um, picking up a bit of this snow white. Snow white. Snow white on the seven colours. <laughs> snow white. I think I'll call it snow white. There we are. Yeah, you know, we've got a little bit of a waterfall there. It wasn't meant to be, but it is now. A little bit of a waterfall. And that's just... Because that water's coming off that mountain. There we are. I'm gonna put too much of this in. Just, just a few little tweaks and highlights like that. Brushing it through with my fingertips. Snow White. Hmm. A bit of a light under those. That bank like that. There we go. That's looking good. Yes, yeah, so we can see where we're coming from now. I need to put a bit more light into this. Um, I need to put a bit more light into this somewhere under there, maybe. I'm going to put a bit of yellow on that in there. Um, let's get some more snow white. And let's put a little block like that. So it's quite thick paint actually. Still picking up a bit of that green, but that's okay. Maybe. Let's get a bit of brown, a bit of brown and a bit of white. Let's get a bit of black in that. Let's put a Let's just darken that up a bit. It's too light. And this is where paintings at this type of scale can take a little while. And this is why I said, suggest you, as a beginner, try and paint on that scale, because it's a lot easier. You don't have to put in so much detail then. There you go. And we got this. Wonderful colour there, which I'm just going to darken up. What, what, it, I, I, again, it, it's to to to, to do an, a um, a limited palette painting. It is it is it is really good to to to, to do that. Um, because it just encourages you to mix paints, which you wouldn't normally mix, would you? You just get a tube and you'd squeeze it out.
dark colour. No, I want to put a bit of dark in there. We need um we need a bit of light to see. we need this light colour in there. There we are. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to develop some sort of a like a Swedishy looking type of building. Now It's just a block out stage at the moment, so we can put a little bit of detail in it in a second. We don't want to play around with it too much, because if we do, we're going to lo lose the effect of that building. Let's get a little bit of green colour, and let's just put a little bit of green there, and then just bring a little bit of colour there. A little bit more green, highlighty colour there, like that. Let's just let's sparkle up this section here a bit with some really light green. Like as if it's a little bit of um, light, maybe bouncing on there, like that. There you go. Let's put a little bit there. And I like that. I like that. I do like that. There we go. Let's just put a little bit of. I just took a paint off off my brush a little bit now. Just dry brushing this on. There you go. Can you see? It's developing. It is developing. I'm gonna have to hide that behind a tree in a second. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of retarder. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a tree trunk there like that. Maybe a little bit darker than that, a little bit more black, because he's going to have a little buddy. But there, as well. There you go. We put a little bit of highlight colour so let's get a little bit of that snow white colour and let's just put a little bit of maybe a bit too much on there and a bit mad maybe we went a bit mad maybe we did Get a bit more black on my brush. I'm going to use my stick, and I use the stick just to rest my arm because we're going to have another tree. You see the way I'm mixing my colours. I'm trying to keep my colours separated. You don't mix them all together if you can help it. I'm going to have another almighty tree then. Coming in, coming in there like that. Wow. And he's going to have another one then. It's going to come down there. And maybe just a little corner one coming in there. So it's a couple of tree trunks. Let's get a little bit of this light colour. This, um, I think that was burnt umber and white, I think, with a little touch of blue in it. I'm just put a bit here in there again. I've just gone a bit overboard. But don't be afraid. Just to mix it in a touch like that. Just a little bit of light on this trunk. You might not see all this trunk, but it's there. It's there. There we go. And I think as also I think we're gonna have a couple of trees. 
and I'm just going to put in a few branches. I'm going to make them a little bit darker so they stand out. Again, I'm still using this number 12, this number 12 uh, brush that you can get on um, my website. A little touch of that colour, just on the very tip of the brush, and maybe put a few little light ones in as well, like that. Don't go overboard like me, I tend to go overboard sometimes. There you go, I'm going to put a few more. lines like that there you go before we do any more i'm just going to put that rest that in the water and chuck my bit of tissue paper away i'm just going to assess my painting i need to have a look at this i'm going to get my small my small um foliage brush again a little bit of retarder i'm going to go into this dark color add in yellow to it A bit of black because the Mars black has got blue in it, so I want I want a quite a dark, I want a darkish type of green. So we're going to put a a bit of a big tree going on just in front of that building there. I want a bit darker than that. I'm just basically just kissing the canvas pushing up with the brush with some dark color like this you can see that we separate in that layer now from this layer so just get a bit of dark in there a little bit I'm going to increase the dark I'm going to add a bit more blue to that so I want a, I want a bluer type of color same type of thing I'm gonna try and use this brush I've never used this brush before for for um, conifer trees or pine trees I'm gonna try and use this brush I normally use a fan brush for this my, my, <laughs> my um, Canvas is wobbling. Nice. It's working quite well, actually. It's working quite well, actually. Leaving a few gaps. Always leave gaps. Don't go completely mad when you're doing something like this, especially for these type of trees, because it's quite easy to a bit more blue and black, a little bit of that retarder. It's very easy to kill all these little bits and pieces, these nuances that you put in there. See that light green is still a little bit wet, so that's just giving me that lift the colour that I wanted. There. I'm going to pick up my my little brush again. This is that number twelve brush, a little bit of white, like we did up there. I'm just going to bring in a bit of. As if it's a little bank. Maybe, maybe, maybe there. We'll do. It's coming, it is coming, it is coming. Okay, I'm just looking at my 
painted in. I'm not quite happy with this section there, so I'm just going to put a few shadows in. There we are. Let's get some more of that light colour. better that's better that sits better with my eye that sits better with my eye it certainly does so I'm gonna get some yellow a little bit of Mars black and yellow I'm just gonna put a few little toppy 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 marks like this as if there's a bit of green there and we can put some light just coming down like that maybe just a little bit of a, a bank or something just flowing down into that water there like that <coughs> he says <laughs> back into our little brush that we put the the paint on the conifers Let's get a need a little bit of moisture. It just dried a little bit in my brush. That's what the problem was there. It's a little bit sparser. Is there maybe the the wind and the and the rain and the snow has been quite harsh to these little ones there? They again, all the blast from the from the wind coming down this mountain like that. There you go. I'm going to get a detail brush now. This is a long. Um, I'm not a detail brush. It, this is. Um, Strip lining brush. I forgot what it was. My brain stopped working then. But you're just going to put a few little things like that, and we're going to put a few tree marks in. Like that. Who knows? A couple of broken trees and things just coming out of these bushes like this maybe maybe get a bit of light color as well we can need to get a few of them in this let's put that trunk back in our tree there we are another bit of a, a light mark there put a bit of light just on that trunk there just poking through and there you go just poking through what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get one of my detail brushes I've got here um, Let's have a look. Which one can we use? I'm going to try to use this one. This is a number one on detail brushes, quite fine. So I'm just going to use the the paint from the mountain because I want to sharpen up 
this building. Maybe we got a little bit of snow or whatever on this. Who knows? Could be what that is. I need to get a bit more brown. Just spend your time. I don't know how long this painting is going to take me. But it takes as long as it takes. Something like this. It takes as long as it takes. It's just a little building out there somewhere in Scandinavia, I expect. This is where this is. I'm quite suspicious on about that. <laughs> but I think it's out in Scandinavia or I don't know, somewhere like that. Who knows? I don't know. This is this is your world, make you make it up. This is your world. You decide where this building is. And where this mountain is, you decide. Just put in a little bit of detail in. I get a little bit of black now because you've got to have a little door. Perhaps he's out fishing. Perhaps he's out fishing somewhere. There you go. Perhaps he's out fishing somewhere. Who knows where this this gentleman is, or even this lady. In fact, who knows where they are? There's a little building there, and we'll give it a little chimney. Can I have a little chimney? A little chimney. It's a cold day today. It's a cold day today. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of that building like that. And I think I think we gotta have a little path leading down like that. There you go. So we've got that little building there in the woods it's looking quite nice i think i could live you i think i could live you now we need to work a little bit more on this foliage um, but before i do that uh, no in fact i think i'm going to go straight into it um, i'm using the same foliage brush the the small one this is the small foliage brush um, i'm going to get some yellow to make a nice green again loading our brush up really nice just take a bit off and let's see if we can put a just a little bit of highlight just on the little trees don't too much down there you don't want to do you don't want to do too much there maybe this year and there and that. Don't forget acrylics dry two shades darker. So you've got to think about that as well. We need a bit of, we, there's a little bit of light coming this side of the tree. So we may, maybe, maybe we need to just do the one side that is catching a bit of light on. Like that. A little bit there and there. Just a balance of the touch. some grass in if 
put a little bit more light down in there. There we are. We can we can put a bit more light on this in a second. But for now, I just want to put a little bit of colour in. We could be standing with their fishing, couldn't we? We could be standing there fishing. There we go. A little bit of colour there. And let's get some. Just have fun. Just splash it on. Don't think about anything too much. Just whap it in there like that. Let's get a little bit of let's get a little bit of brown as well. Let's change the flavour maybe. get the shadows we can get a little bit of Prussian blue and black we need to put a few shadows in this as well otherwise it's just going to turn into a mess there we are. you spend a little bit more time and then I have because I just want to get this finished now um, I'm gonna pick up my little script lining brush I want to put a, a little bit of a watermark like this. There you go. Um, I don't think we're far away. I don't think we're far away. I really don't. I'm gonna get a little bit more lemon, yeah, le lemon, <laughs> a little bit more white. I'm adding um, l yellow. Sorry, I'm adding a bit of white to the yellow. That's what I meant to say. I don't know what's the matter with me today. I'm, I'm all tongue twisted. Very, very light colour, and I just want to get some. I just want to get some. light just here and there and there in here just to let this tree stand out a bit there you go shape there now I'm going to get my script lining brush into some of this colour and I'm just going to put some Flicky up grass like this. Just shapes, basically. Just shapes. It could be anything. It's just to give it a little bit of texture. Gives a, it, it just wraps it around. So I, I, if you if you look at it, it looks like a little bit of a vignette. This is a bit of a lake running into a small river. Then 
you could say that. Um, so it just gives it a little bit of a, a vignette just to take the eye into that area there. And just flick in these little bits and pieces like that. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this now. Just to give you that bit of a feeling that there's twigs and branches and all this wonderful type of bracken. We can have bracken and twigs and really from just a few little tiny little brush marks you can turn it into a lovely little scene like that. So I would say just, just about happy and just about finished. So if you like what you've seen today, please like, comment, share and subscribe my videos. If you'd like to see another one of these, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, but I'm just, just having fun. Just having fun in the studio. I'm just going to pick up a number six. I'm just going to make a very, very light wash. I've added a lot of my retarder. I'm just going to darken very lightly just the base of these trees, like as if there's a little bit of distance there. Because I wasn't happy with that. I just want to knock that back just a touch. Pop along to www.clifeivart.co.uk to check out my products and my brushes and my paints. Um, my blending white and everything that I've um, showcased in the video today. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification buttons because I upload every Monday. And um, thank you very much for joining me in the studio and helping me paint away the stress of everyday life. And I will see you on the next one. Nice.